Hello everybody, my name is Nova Samurai and welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's Jump Scare Simulator. Now why am I playing a jump scare simulator? Uh... I don't know. Okay, look, I, I promised to double upload and, you know... It's, it's kind of hard to find FNAF games. There's a lot of FNAF games, but it's kind of hard to find the FNAF games. That doesn't make any sense. I'm just gonna start off with the best one. Oh, yeah. While wow, someone made a game just to the FNAF jump scares. Actually, I haven't seen, personally, any of these jump... I think I might have. I've seen, uh... Whose was it? I don't remember. Uh... Spring traps or William Afton's jump scare, I think. I'm not sure though. I don't remember. It was one of these guys. Oh my goodness. I hate I hate getting jump scared. But this game is absolutely awesome. I didn't mean to click on you, I meant to click on her. Why is there tearing though? That's concerning. Oh man, where's Nightmare? Nightmare is just a face. This jump scare is just a face. Now this guy. Oh, that brings back memories. This is the whole game, but I don't know. Yeah, it just brings back memories. Oh, there's Nate. There's another page. I didn't know that. There's Nightmare. I've never gotten that jump scare because I've never went up against Nightmare because uh, uh, I didn't actually complete the game. I completed till night five and I attempted night six, but I didn't get very far. And yeah, I probably will be able to come back sometime and play it. I don't know. <laughs> That's so crisp. I remember when uh, Sister Location came out. It was actually my my favorite FNAF game at the time because you know all the other games weren't like it. Not none of them compared to you know when Sister Location came out. It was like a new thing for the entire franchise, and I really, I really did like. Uh, the differentness and the uniqueness that Sister Location brought to the entire uh, FNAF storyline and uh, the FNAF everything. I remember when when people beat it, they were like, oh, is that actually the end of Five Nights at Freddy's? And I think it was supposed to be the end of Five Nights at Freddy's. But again, he continued and made another one. You know, Scott kept making them. Uh, apparently, FNAF 3 was supposed to be the end, but people didn't like the jump scare, so he made FNAF 4. I'm I'm glad I've never thought about this, but I'm glad people didn't like that jump scare or, or otherwise we wouldn't have any other FNAFs after that. So yeah, that's why he made FNAF 4 because people weren't satisfied with the jump scare. And then I, I don't remember why, I kind of forgot. He said that he made Sister Location. I'm unsure why, but he wanted to do something different with Sister Location. And boom! Sister Location was awesome. I think it was meant to be the last game that he was ever made, but he kept going again, and he made FNAF, uh, what was it? Pizzeria Simulator. I always forget that name, don't know why. And, uh, people thought it was going to be a, you know, little mini game, you know, bonus. But no, it ended up being a whole nother actual game for the storyline. And, uh, you know, he sold it to Steel Wool. And I kind of got sad when he did that, because Steel Wool, it's like right when Steel Wool took over. FNAF has not been the same as it used to be, you know, because like uh, the new FNAF, uh, FNAF Security Breach, it's uh, it's not like the old FNAF, you know, it's not, it doesn't really scare me. The old FNAF scared me. I was so excited when I heard that they were going to make it free roam and the graphics were going to be amazing. Absolutely. One thing that I really like about games is the graphics. Always have been, always been that way. I always liked the graphics. And I know that I heard that they were gonna be retracing, ray tracing, the graphics gonna be good. But then it turns out, you know, it wasn't that scary. You know, when I played it, it, it was like it didn't click with me. But I was really excited for it when it did come out. And I was kind of mad that I spent forty-one dollars um, to to play the game on my PS4, and the, the graphics looked doodle on PS4. It was not optimized at all. But I finally, they finally put it on Xbox a year later. And I got it on my Series X, and uh, the graphics game looked pretty good. But by that time, I already knew everything about the game and all the endings and all that. So it really wasn't like, uh, you know, that feeling when a new FNAF game comes out, you know. It was, uh, yeah, 
Not scary. Not scary. Not scary at all. Why is there two fun time foxy? Fun time foxy has two jump scares? I ain't know that. That's cool. I've never been jump scared by that many of these. Oh, the memories. It just brings back. Brings back your memories being jump scared by them. I know that's weird, but it just does. It's like whenever I see stuff like this, it just sends me back in time, you know. Oh man, 2016. That's when this game came out right here. The internet was just a different place back then, I'm telling you. Man, this game right here. The reason I'm doing YouTube. Hmm. Okay. Man, this is how I found all of the YouTubers back in the day. So I asked Will if it was okay if I can use this picture a long time ago, and he said yes. So I'm gonna explain to you why I am a YouTuber and uh, why YouTube means so much to me. Um, back in the day, uh, 2014, I got internet. Because before that, we didn't have internet because we lived out in the countryside where internet was just, they didn't have it out here yet. And they finally got the internet out here but it was like dial up internet no one used that it was one megabyte per second but it usually does way less than that it was in a kilobyte so i think i have a video on my channel way back in the day or a year ago actually it was two, would be two years i think i uploaded a year i don't know it was a long time ago where i had to dial up internet and i showed it and it was like 400 kilobytes that was downloading per second <clears throat> it was really bad you know dial up internet i'm glad we passed that my goodness but yeah i had dial up internet but i still had access to the internet nonetheless and uh when i was at school my friend will told me to look up five nights at freddy's so i was really excited to hear about this new game it just came out get back home and i look up five nights at freddy's and when i did oh, i'm glad i did i found all of the youtubers that's uh really inspired me to make YouTube videos myself. I really wanted to be a YouTuber back then and I actually recorded videos on my uh, 3DS, you know, pretending like I was a YouTuber. I, I, I couldn't upload them, of course, but man. So I found Markiplier, Gory Kitchen, Jacksepticeye. Those are the three main ones. I also found Yami Mash. I found... Uh, my goodness, I can't remember. Yeah, I've had a lot of YouTubers from FNAF. Those are the main ones that I remember the most. Yeah, well, <laughs> if I haven't, if I didn't find Mark, Jack, or Corey, I would not be making YouTube videos. Also, Yummy Match played a big part, and actually, uh, I remember a year ago, Yummy Match started back, started uploading videos again. And uh, I was really happy to see that he was back, you know, on the YouTube scene because he has been, he was gone for a long time before that. And uh, if it wasn't, yeah, if it wasn't for FNAF, I wouldn't be standing here right now. I would confidently say that I'll probably be doing something else like sleeping. It is really early in the morning. I'm really tired. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's a picture of Will. I, I don't know where I'm going to put it somewhere, but this is the guy. That started it all and here's another picture of him for when he was little this is the guy that started it all that that did this picture right here of him when, I, when he was little that's the him that told me to look it up so I did if it wasn't for this guy you wouldn't be seeing me right now and you wouldn't know who Nova the Samurai was oh yeah that jump scare that jump scare still scared me people say it wasn't scary it scared me sure did yeah all these jump scares Scared me. I don't know why they're scaring. My PC be doing some some freaky what? Oh yeah, yeah. There's another Freddy one. Golden Freddy. I've never been jump scared by Golden Freddy at all. I've never even seen him in my office, but other people have, and apparently it crashes your game. I don't know if that's true on Xbox. I'm gonna have to find that out. I don't know. Man. In my opinion, the scariest FNAF. My goodness, I cannot play this game at all at all it just freaks me out i don't know why i don't know why i don't like being hunted it's like i'm 
I don't like, you know, it, it freaks me out. I just don't know why. I really can't explain it. It's, it's because of spring trap, but I don't, it's just so eerie and freaky, freaky. I'd be for now four, but I cannot be for now three. It's just freaky, man. Like this guy, spring trap. He's, he's dead, but he's alive. That freaks me out, man. It's William Afton. Dead, but somehow alive. It, it literally doesn't make any sense. You can see his like intestines and stuff. And he's like split open right there. That is nasty. Oh yeah, when he does a thing where he takes the mask off, man, this just freaky, bro. I can't play this game. I just don't like him. Ew. And people said it just girls and scary. Yes, it is. Yes, the freak it is. It's just, I don't know. It just freaks me out. Foxy. Man, this sucker. This sucker right here. Whenever <laughs> I play the game, I just look over. That jump scare gets me every time. He jumps real quick. I'm not sure if I've ever been jump scared by. Yeah, I have. I have been jump scared by Freddy. But Foxy, that sucker gets you. I'm just saying. Ah oh, yes, Fun Time Freddy used to be my favorite animatronic. I don't know why, but he was awesome. Yeah, that's that dude right there. And it was voice acting too for the first time ever. Man, I know this video is about to be, you know, dragged out and like, what, what the freak am I doing, right? I don't know why I'm on, you would, you would think, you know, I wouldn't be playing this game. It's not typical of me to play games like this, but I, it's just the memories, you know, just the memories. I don't know. I don't want to drag this video out for too long. Sorry if it seems boring to you, but I have to. I don't know, I just wanted to play this game, you know, take a trip down memory lane, and I sure have. I sure have. I, I started remembering things when I was three, which is very unusual, because I'm the only person that I've ever known to start remembering stuff when they were three. Yes, my first memory I can recall was back when I was three, and uh, I don't know, I just got a really good memory, you know? So, I don't want to continue this video out, drag this video out for so long, so, because I have to go to sleep because I have school tomorrow, and it is 4.33, ignore my background, and I hope my camera can pick up this amazingness that is my background, but it is 4.34 now, and I gotta go to sleep. I got school, which I'm not gonna get any, nope, I'll be fine, because I am virtual. Well, anyways, so all that being said, as you know, the samurai is off for now. See you guys next time.